October 27th Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God They are brought to their knees and fall but we rise up and stand firm Psalm 27 and 8 Today's devotion is taken from Charles Spurgeon's exposition of these verses in his classic Treasury of David Chariots and horses make an imposing show and with their rattling and dust and fine caparisons make so great a figure that vain man is much taken with them yet the discerning eye of faith sees more in an invisible god than in all these the most dreaded war engine of david's day was the war chariot armed with scythes which mowed down men like grass this was the boast and glory of the neighboring nations but the saints consider the name of jehovah to be a far better defense as the israelites might not keep horses it was natural for them to regard the enemy's cavalry with more than usual dread it is therefore all the greater evidence of faith that the bold songster can hear disdain even the horse of egypt in comparison with the lord of hosts alas how many in our day who profess to be the lords are as abjectly dependent upon their fellow men or upon an arm of flesh in some shape or other as if they had never known the name of jehovah at all jesus be thou alone our rock and refuge and never may we mar the simplicity of our faith how different the end of those whose trusts are different the enemies of god are uppermost at first but before long they are brought down by force or else fall of their own accord their foundation is rotten and therefore when the time comes it gives way under them their chariots are burned in the fire and their horses die of pestilence and where is their boasted strength as for those who rest on jehovah they are often cast down at the first onset but an almighty arm uplifts them and they joyfully stand upright the victory of jesus is the inheritance of his people the world death satan and sin shall all be trampled beneath the feet of the champions of faith while those who rely upon an arm of flesh shall be ashamed and confounded forever as spurgeon makes clear what is true of physical battles is all the more true of spiritual warfare our trust is in the name of jesus that is we remember what he has done and still does and we boast in his power to bring about the fullness of his reign on earth today's decree some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the lord our god the forces of darkness are brought to their knees and fall but we rise up and stand firm